What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Let Their Fly YouTube channel. Today we're going to be checking out Fod Sports M1S Plus Intercom. So Fod Sport had sent us out the M1S Pro, which we were actually very impressed with. Yeah, these things work great. The distance was really good. The battery life seemed to be good. It lasted all day when we were down at Busco and some yep. other places. And uh, the waterproofness seemed to be pretty good too. Yes. As you can see from this one, I'll walk up real close real quick. She is pretty destroyed, I'm not going to lie. Sorry Fod Sports, but we tested your product and it still works. But they sent us out a... I guess the slightly better model, the yeah. M1S Plus. Plus. So this has some differences from the Pro. Uh, the pretty mi minor differences, but yeah. they are a different unit. Now as far as the battery life, the uh, connectivity, all that stuff, it still works essentially all the same. Uh, the distance uh, that we can go apart from each other is roughly the same. Yep. So all that stuff is still good. One of the bonuses that this thing has, actually there's a couple of them, but yeah. one of them is it actually has music share. So one person can uh, play music through their phone, everybody can listen to it. You do have to cancel that out to talk on the intercom, but still pretty cool. Now if you're somebody that has a side-by-side -side and uh, maybe don't like the big sound systems that some of them offer, like I said, because this has the music share, it's actually really cool. You can actually share it with all your passengers. If you have like four passengers, everybody can listen to the same music. Somebody needs to talk to the next person, boom, you just start talking, you hit the button and everything, and you're good to go. Uh, the other thing is the USB-C cord charger. Yes, uh, so the other one used a more of a, it's not a micro SD, but I'll just hold the two up. You can see on this side here we have USB-C, and you can see the other style plug. Uh, honestly, plugging the two in, um, this one so far feels like it's got a much more watertight connection, I feel like. And yeah, it's, it's smoother. sturdier. It's yeah. smoother, it's sturdier, it feels a lot better. Um, so I think that's definitely gonna be worth the upgrade. The other thing I liked is that the you actually use the USB port to charge. Um, now, on the other unit, you had to have a separate uh, micro um, USB cable on the bottom here in order to charge that, which was okay. I mean, it was not, no big deal. It worked. But with us and needing something very waterproof, the more possible places to get wet yes. that shouldn't get wet, yeah. uh, the, the more likely something is to get damaged. Yeah, so works, yeah. this thing, besides just having the um, the actual um, USB-C in the back, the only other port on this thing is actually just the aux port, which we don't really personally use. Nope. But um, I mean, I, I, that way that thing is plugged in there, I mean, you're not going to get mud in there, which is cool. Yep. Uh, it has a special uh, USB-C cord. Um, it thins out a little bit, but if you really needed to, you could always shave down a different cord. Um, that'll nope. make it work. I personally like that it says FOD Sports on the charging cable because um, then you know it's for your FOD Sports because um, I have a lot of USB-C cables around, um, especially with our camera equipment and everything like that. Um, so having the separate cable that actually it says FOD Sports on it, I know which one I'm going for when I need to charge this bad boy up. Yeah. So really, really like the new design here. Um, also like, I kind of actually like having the volume buttons are now on the top. Yeah, it's versus on the side, so it's a lot less confusing, I feel like. Yeah, there's less buttons to have to deal with, really. Yeah, so it's it's the same amount of buttons, it's just oh. the positioning, so you know you're clicking your volume buttons um, when your hand is actually on the side of your, your head there when you're moving along on the trail. Uh, before, um, especially if you're wearing gloves, it was a little hard to figure out if you're hitting the volume button versus the, the intercom, intercom button, versus, button or yeah. the play button for the music and stuff, so. Um, I really like the new design here, and I think it's going to work. So the other thing that this has built in, which is really cool, is actually an FM radio. I believe this one does not have it. I've never been able to find it, so I don't think it's got it. Yeah, I don't um, think so. So it's nice um, if you have your favorite radio station, you're riding locally and everything like that, you can listen to that rather than your Bluetooth music. That's a pretty neat feature. And the final thing that is different is the microphone mute. Yeah, so when you're in a conversation, um, say you're in a group of more than two riders and you don't want to 
your voice to be heard, um, basically, with everybody else. Uh, you can mute yourself. They won't hear you, just in case you want to talk bad about them or something. And that never make, happens. make sure you're muted. <laughs> but uh, what do you call it? You can actually mute yourself. You can still listen to the conversation, which is cool. Uh, maybe you guys are riding with like a, like I guess you could say like pack leader. Um, so you got somebody in front, somebody at the back. Those two are the main two communicating. You just want to chime in and hear what they're saying. Um, so in this video, we're actually not going to be installing these on our helmets. They already are installed um, yes. because we actually did the same uh, install on the M1S Pro here. Um, I'll link the video right above Seth's head over here um, that um, shows the install. It's it's exactly the same. Yes. So yes. super simple. Yeah, super simple, self-explanatory. Um, once you get it installed, um, then you go through the pairing process. It's actually basically exactly the same as this one. Very simple. Yep. Um, and we got everything connected, and we already started playing with the music, and Seth can can hear the music. So. I can. One thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna do what we always like to do with the intercoms is test our distance. So we're gonna go down the uh, driveway here like we did last time. We're actually, I guess we'll take the same route we did last time. I guess. I'll go to the top of the hill and you'll go down the driveway. If you have multiple units that you're pairing together, um, the other cool thing. It ladders through. It ladders you know. through. So if you have multiple guys using these or multiple girls, um, you can, um, expand on that so you could probably go well over a mile in distance yeah. which is really neat so I don't know why you guys would be a mile apart but you never know Some, you get split up sometimes um, these are were a game changer for us um, especially with the YouTube side of things but also just riding in big groups um, they're awesome right now Seth and I we're gonna put these on the helmets and we're gonna do our distance test to start all right, so that's gonna go up back where I was last time. I was at the very top of the hill. Okay. And I'm just gonna start heading out. I'm gonna let him go up back first. All right. Once you get there, you just let me know, and then I will head straight down the driveway. See how far we make it. So, if you guys can see Seth from here. How we doing? Start cruising and just chatting away. It's a nice. See how far you got. So he's. I can't even see Seth at all. Now we're getting a lot of trees in our path here. Oh yeah. I'm just doing a nice slow cruise at nine, so you can see it roughly how far still we're working. talking here. Yeah, it's still clear. Sounds good. Yep. All right, how we doing? Still good? We're still okay. A little crackle. Yeah, a little bit. So actually, this is where we started losing each other last time. Like literally right by our neighbor's house. Okay. Well, I can hear you loud and clear. Actually. I can still hear you. It's just crackly a little bit. I'm actually further than we than you were last time. Still yeah, good. Uh, I can actually still hear you. It is crackling, but I can still hear you. It's still going. Yeah. Well, okay. So you weren't able to go this far last time. Okay. That's I'm, actually pretty surprising. Uh, wait. I'm almost by the mailbox. Really? Yeah. I mean, so you're, you're, you're pretty, pretty much at you're, the street. Yeah, you're almost inaudible now. Okay. I'm gonna head back now. All right, well, you want me to come to you? Oh yeah, he's pretty inaudible. Audible. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Marshall is officially out of... Uh, All right. So what I'm gonna do, range. actually, that's basically where I can hear you. I'm gonna set my trip. And we're just gonna see here. Should be about an eighth of a mile. I'm gonna guess, or a little bit more. Yeah, I'm coming to you, so stay there, because I'm, I'm, I don't think it's going to, like, this is not the most accurate way of doing it, but I got my, uh, trip thing reset here. Yeah. So. Woo, she's a chilly one out today. Well, uh, you know, I mean, if we were able to go straight line, it would be shorter than this trip. So, but, di so know. just for, uh, what do you call it, purposes of this video here, I'm going to stop here. So Seth's literally straight through here. Um, that's roughly where he should be, and that's a lot of dense, uh, trees and everything like that. It is basically almost winter time now so uh, it's December so all the trees are gone so got a little less obstruction now than uh, you normally would during, a, during the riding season the regular riding season but yep. One miles, but I wish it did better as far as that, as far as the uh, the measuring. I 
That's I mean, that was, that was a distance. I mean, I'm, I'll play the video, the whole video back. So where I stopped, guys, was straight through there. You see how much denseness we have. So yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty like for off-road use. That's I mean, usually. A lot of times you're not going to be riding in trails that thick when you're out riding with your buddies, most likely. No, but also at the same time, when you hear something start to crackle, the yeah. person, you know, can stop and wait. You, you also know. know you're getting a little far apart. Yeah. Now, uh, one thing we did pick up on, and we like to do honest reviews and everything here, the volume dis difference between these and the other ones, for me personally, these ones seem quieter, but I'm going to try relocating the earpieces. Maybe I put them up too high? I, I don't know. I got mine actually pretty freaking loud. Do you? I mean, oh, I can yeah. hear. I can still hear you clear. Oh, I can. I just feel like it's not maybe as loud as the other ones, but I like I said, I can actually it, turn this down. Can you? Yes. Uh, see, I'm at max right now. Yeah, I'm wondering if I just have to drop the earpieces. I'm also deaf, so. Really? <laughs> to me, loud race cars and loud music. <laughs> You're going with I'm deaf to me. Yes. <laughs> the mics have a much different sound than the pros. Um, this one, I feel like cleaner so I think they tried doing some more stuff with noise reduction which could be why it's a little bit quieter possibly possible um, but I, I believe they did some stuff with noise reduction for like wind noise and stuff like that it's very possible because yeah, we don't ride that fast so for us we don't re really need too much wind reduction uh, but I mean if you're on a motorcycle or something like that yeah I can imagine doing 70 80 miles an hour on a highway and trying to talk to your buddies and hearing nothing yeah. but wind that could kind of get a little annoying yeah. so but I think right now we're gonna probably get back into the trails and uh, see how they do in the trails yep. real quick and then uh, we'll head down and do what we do best play in the mud yep let's go right. do it all right guys so I'm a little bit of an idiot admittedly so uh, <laughs> I moved my earpieces back but one thing I am wearing today um, is actually a neck gaiter I have had it over my ears I just pulled it down and now talk Seth yeah. holy cow okay I can turn them down now all right that was my bad I was Trying to stay warm. It's a little chilly out here, guys. All right, so now we're gonna go back into trails. Um, scratch everything I said about the uh, sound. Don't wear a neck gaiter over your ears, and you can hear perfectly fine. <laughs> Sounds like normal. Sounds just like our uh, M1S Pros. So, all right, let's go uh, see what these things can do. All right, guys. So the first thing I'm noticing actually when I'm riding is definitely that noise cancellation. Like it's actually a little eerie because I'm so used to hearing Seth's quad in my ears essentially because um because of the uh the mic picking everything up but now i don't hear that now i like i keep questioning if sets actually there and i'm like you there yeah, <laughs> so it's, it's actually pretty uh pretty nice the noise cancellation it's just going to take some getting used to compared to the other ones yeah i mean i don't hear your quad but you hear the voice clear i can hear the voice clear today but that 650 is not very loud so it's pretty loud this is not as loud as yours. I don't, I don't hear it over my quad at all. Like, I don't even hear your quad. You want to go check out the stream real quick just to see? Sure. For a little little trail action for the people here. I can't go too fast because I got the camera stand on the back here, but... Although I do have a 650 that has nice soft suspension, which is nice. This is yeah. like my this is like my cruise quad now. I got my fucking ground cover. Yep. I have gone a few videos Nice to be back on her. <laughs> so one thing that sucks, guys, we used to be able to ride back over there, but uh, unfortunately oh the God, guy. Look at the trees now. I know that's what I was about to say. Um, unfortunately, the guy didn't like us riding his property. It's, it's okay. It's like you gotta respect the landowners and stuff like that. But look at all the trees that fell. I don't know if you guys remember some of the OGs, um, all the riding we used to do back in this little section over here. There used to be a, our little um, what we used to call the mud run, right? I think it was. It was the original mud run. The yeah. original mud run, um, and then some other and the really cool holes back there. Yeah. You know. Yeah. The oh yeah, the bounty hole. Yep. That was that thing was nasty. That turned. I blame the CF Moto for that. I blame you for that. On the CF Moto. Yeah. I mean, it's <laughs> just you, like ah, I'm just gonna it throttle just sunk. as fast as it can go and just dig big holes. And it sunk down to nothing, and and, and now it's. It's insane. I'd love to hit it right now. I don't think we can get to it. We'd have to like trailblaze pretty bad to. Yeah, you have to pick and choose your line. Yeah, I, I was actually cleaning up the trails the day the guy found found me and said, "Hey, you I can't mean, ride there." It's hunting season right now, so you know you don't want to go off doing too much trails. Uh, yeah, at least we're being able to be seen. I'm on bright yellow. You're bright red. So yeah, that just means that they can target us easier. Oh yeah. Oh God. 
<laughs> it actually rubbed. <laughs> yeah. All right, so for, so far just coming down the trail like we normally do. Um, everything seems to be fine. Uh, now we're gonna be get, going down to our swamp to do some mud riding. I'm gonna let Seth get a little bit of distance on me, ahead of me, uh, when we're heading down there just to see how it does. It's pretty straight uh, for a run down there, but still be able to see how far we can get ahead. I'll have Seth let me know where he is and then uh, that kind of deal. Yeah, I mean, it's still pretty wooded. Yeah, you know? I know it's definitely wooded. So I'll let you take off first and I'll let you get a little bit ahead. You can kind of let me know where you're at and I'll start to roll off. I'll just chill down here by the stream, look at the beautiful sights and this random gazebo thing that somebody built back here, but that's fine. And our port potty, Port John. Actually, it's original porta potty. It literally says that on the side. So many different. Original porta potty. Well, it's got the logo. I'm gonna go look at it real quick. It's got the like the actual logo that says porta potty. Okay. Yeah, porta potty. I don't know. There's a company name on it. It's a phone number you guys can call. <laughs> it's an 800 number. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he actually had the nicest porta potties around. So where are you? Um, Whereabouts are you? I am uh, where we had to kind of like slightly move the trail a little bit. To go okay. That low hanging. All right, you're a little oh. crackly, but we're some in some dense. I mean, so you're basically a, about an eighth of a mile from me. Okay. About it. So I'm gonna start just riding behind you now. See if it clears up a little bit. Yeah, it cleared up some. Yeah, it cleared up a little bit. This is gonna turn into a heck of a mud hole. I mean, this is. <laughs> To get I mean, it might, it's it's getting near the uh, floorboards. So, so right now it's basically perfectly clear. There's like a slight cl crackle, but I mean, Seth's what are you at the top of the hill? I'm gonna guess. Um, just about at your access. Oh, so you're really far ahead. So Seth's quite a ways away from me actually, and it is crackly. I hear it, but he's. I mean, I'm riding slow. So I'm just trying to All see right. how. I am actually at your access. All right, so he's pretty far away. So you guys will see. Are you waiting there? Oh, are you gonna wait there? I did. Okay, so yeah, you guys will actually get to see how far he is ahead of me. And we had a big hill between us, so uh, this is a pretty long hill. It's probably about 100 and something foot, 200 foot. So you can see how far he was. And you're normally, when you're riding in a group, you wouldn't get this disconnected anyway. Uh, usually, you stay good like 100 feet away from each other if anything but yeah. there there Seth is so we were literally talking through a hill and a bunch of trees so that's pretty pretty darn good I gotta tell you Not bad. so now what we're gonna be doing is kind of using these as we normally do for what we do and which is most likely what you guys are gonna be doing so yeah. um, kind of some mud ride and some uh, trail ride so we did just did some trail riding for you just a little short snippet now we're gonna do uh, what we do ride. best a little mud ride and I can smell your quad already <laughs>
she can do in the, uh, probably the only hole she can handle here. Oh, she's <laughs> going in the mud run. Oh boy. I don't have a left hand throttle. Ugh. Someone with big 32 Tarachis. Oh yeah, the moto habits in here are ripping. My Tarachis bottom out. I should find an old clip to put in here of what that hole used to be. Flashback. End of flashback. You could drive across it with like a stock quad. That hole is so crazy now. I'm actually high centered. Yeah, dude, I'm on basically 29 inch uh, cryptids here. Very interesting. I'm telling you, that hole got nasty, dude. Let me see if I can show Seth up in it. Oh, I'm totally high centered. Oh, I'm sure you are. Woo! She's deep. She's deep. Dude, little 650 showing you how it's done. Okay, maybe I'm a little high centered. <laughs> that was like dive into nothing, like it's er, done. <laughs> Right, guys so we're just wrapping up this FOD sports video here um, I think they work really good it is they do to me personally it, it is a different sound than our pro series was than the plus uh, but it's definitely something I can get used to um, and I will tell you there's a lot less background noise that's and the that's really thing that's really what it is is it's it's cutting out the noise from the other person's quad yep. so it's pretty nice actually it really is now the thing um, that I was doing when I, we just went through um, this mud run here is I actually was listening to some music which you could have done on the other ones but this is something cool Seth could have been listening to the same song while I was riding through and stuff like that so could have. I mean and the only thing is you can't talk and listen at the same time so you talk no, and then you click it over and it goes to the music yeah. Yeah, it's it's pretty seamless. It, it connects really quick, so you guys yeah, can does. be listening to music. Um, you can be out cruising trails, and then um, say you see a trailhead coming up, you want to see which direction the other rider wants to go with. Boom! Hit the button it's, uh, and start talking to them. You figure it out. Go back to the music and keep on riding. As always, with all Fod Sports products, you can use code Let Dirt Fly at checkout, and it'll save you 12% off your order, which is awesome. Now, if you're watching this video in December, they're actually running a special deal right now for Christmas. Yeah, so if you guys can catch that deal, that'll be awesome. So with that, make sure you guys are liking, subscribing, and commenting down below. We really appreciate the support. Let us know if you're rocking some Fod Sports. Um, we really, really like these units, and they've been working great for us. So let us know down below.
Like always, you can catch us on Instagram and Facebook. Shoot us a message, ask us a question, you know, we'll always get back to you. If you want us to test out a product, hit us up at letdirtfly at gmail.com. So with that, we'll have to catch you guys next time on Let Dirt Fly. Have you forgotten where the world? Have you forgotten where the world?